Welcome back to the Master Chief Collection. Today we're taking a look at one of the most interesting mods which has ever been added to the MCC. This is by the Dig Site crew and is a mod which restores cut Halo Combat Evolved content. Now, before we take a look at this, I want to quickly say that this is part of a couple of mods which have been added to the MCC. This is a map which showcases the cut content without the context of a mission. And we will be taking a look at the mission that was also added alongside this sort of showcase map. So this is literally just a map which shows all of the content without the context of the Macworld demo mission, which we can play and will play. So there's a link in the description to that if and when I've made that video. It may be out by the time you watch this. But one thing I want to say about cut content is that there's sort of a, a unique perspective that I want to provide because this build of the game is from 1999 and was the build of the game that was shown at Macworld and one of the first times we sort of heard about Halo so there's going to be a lot of stuff here which um, is recognizable to people which are familiar with that Macworld demo and potentially the magazines which came out to actually cover this version of the game. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because a few years ago, if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I made a Halo documentary or I was making a Halo documentary. And as part of the research for that, I was looking into prototype builds of Halo and cut content from Halo. And I'm privy to more information than you might think. A lot of the cut content actually isn't present in this build or this mod. Um, I went as far in the production of the documentary to talk to one of the journalists which published an article in Computer Gaming World, I believe it was in 1999, and he was one of the very, very few people which weren't in Bungie that got to play this build of the game. And he told me a little bit about it, and I never did use the information in the documentary, but it's become um, a little bit more valuable to me here, because I do know that while this is a lot of cut content that we can take a look at, which we are going to do after I've finished my spiel, there's still quite a significant amount of content which isn't present. So just for example, there's like an earthworm, which is something like you see in Dune, the film Dune, and um, various other weapons which appear in more early versions of the game when it was third person. Anyway, that, that doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at some of the things that this mod adds because talking about things that aren't in the game is kind of pointless. These are all of the different view models, not view models, um, 3D models of the Master Chief that were going to be used. Um, I think this is in chronological order. I think that's the first one, or maybe this is the first one. But these are all old Master Chief models and the original Elite as well. This is what the Elite was originally going to look like, and I believe it sounds the same. And this obviously is... A member of the Covenant that was never added. I always forget the name of these, but I believe they were made with Marathon in mind, which is Bungie's previous game before Halo. And then, of course, we have Covenant Snipers, which are kind of like a precursor to Jackal Snipers from Halo 2. I think they wield like an old version of the beam rifle. And then, of course, we have all of the cut weapons, which we can pick up most of which don't have um, first-person view models. But the build from Macworld was actually a third-person shooter, so this is probably more realistic in terms of what the build would have been like from back in the day. And all of these weapons obviously have functionality but no view models, which is why they're in third-person. And we can go ahead and pick all of these up. Most of them, I believe, have also been added to the game via Halo CE+. Plus. Um, I've also done a video on that if you want to check that out. It's in the mods playlist. But most of these are just cut versions of the assault rifle, and I think these are all versions that were actually added to the game in the PC version of Halo CE. This is the flamethrower. We've got the fuel rod cannon, which obviously you'll be familiar with if you've played it on PC. And then this Gatling gun, which is basically like the chain gun, but it's got a first-person model. And yeah, these are all Halo CE weapons that we know and love. We can all pick them up. And there's the sniper rifle. I can't pick the sniper rifle up. There we go. There's actually a different plasma rifle. This has got like a, a reticule on it. I'm not entirely sure what these are. I think these are spawn points for um, the, the enemies we killed. This is one of the guns that doesn't have a first person model. 
Not entirely sure what this is. I think it's the gravity gun. This is the harpoon. Another one that doesn't have a first person model, but we can use it on the elite. There you go. You can see the harpoon has gone through the elite. Oh, and it explodes. Okay, I didn't know it exploded. Thought it was just a harpoon. Oh, we can actually see the enemies again. Here we go. Let's take a look at these guys. I'm pretty sure this guy begins with D. Was it called a... a, a uh, oh, I don't want to say it out loud. I think it was a... Doric? Druic? Something like that. And these are the Covenant snipers. You can see the, the weapon actually explodes. And now we can probably get a better look at some of the models which was made for the Master Chief. But I don't want to spend all day doing this. Let's take a look at some of the weapons. Another fuel rod. This is a third person view of the model. This is an early rocket launcher. Pretty cool. And these are obviously all things that you could see in the Macworld demonstration of the game. This is an energy sword. Obviously wasn't pick upable in the original Halo Wars. Halo CE, excuse me. But is now usable on this mod. Very, very cool. I think this is another flamethrower. Has a ghastly noise. That's actually really scary. We've already seen most of those weapons. This is actually a pistol. This is actually quite Star Wars-esque. Even with its noise as well. Sounds very, very Star Wars-like. Another third-person rocket launcher. I believe this is sort of like a grenade launcher kind of thing. You've got to aim it quite high. You can see the reticules sort of move around in a 3D space almost. See the way? You can't really see the reticule. You've got to kind of aim through yourself there. And we've got a shotgun. Most of them are third person because they don't have models to use. Another shotgun. This is actually a weapon that was added to um, Halo CE+. Plus. We've seen the first person model of this already in that mod. You can take a look at that in the video I did. An SMG. Another shotgun. I believe this is... I think this is the bolt action sniper rifle. I could be wrong. The harpoon, we've already seen that. Let's take a look at this. I believe this is an early version of the carbine. Oh no, sorry. This is the um, this is the bolt action sniper. Doesn't actually have a view model. And then we're back to the gun that we've already seen. All right, let's take a look at the vehicles, shall we? Oh, one more left. Sort of an assault rifle, kind of like a Sten almost. And then back to the Gatling gun. Okay, here we go. This is basically the old Scorpion. I believe it was called the Stealth Tank. Um, functionality is pretty similar to the Scorpion. I don't think there's any differences in terms of its design and gameplay. Um, it's obviously just a visual change. That's the Stealth Tank. I think this is just a different version of it. Different color. Sounds a bit different and it's got like some sort of... Oh no, I thought that was like a cluster effect. Before we take a look at the... Um, what's that called? It's called the Hawk, I think. No, I'm probably wrong about that. This is actually a boat. Obviously, it doesn't really work because there isn't enough water, but originally Halo CE was going to have um, water combat and boats. Pretty cool, huh? And here it is. This is actually the Kestrel. I've remembered the name of it since I've uh, driven the boat. This is basically, a, a, I don't know, a precursor to the Hornet or the um, the Falcon. Kind of a mixture of the two. It's a bit, a little bit like a Hawk from Halo Wars. Has a chain gun, rocket launchers. Then, of course, we have various different versions of the, whoop, the Warthogs. Got a transport hog. These are all functionally identical to the original Warthog. But I assume... AI can get in the back of it. Can we get in the back of it? Yeah, we can. So this is kind of like a precursor to what we saw in Halo 3. Then we've got an early version of the Warthog here. This is just a chain gun. No alternate fire modes. And then an early Goss Hog, which I believe just fires rockets. So sort of a mixture between the Halo Reach Hog and the Goss Hog. Then we've got, I believe this is the Shadow. Originally going to be added to Halo CE. You can pilot this as well. Don't know if you can get on the side of it. Doesn't look like it. There we go. The shadow, ladies and gents. And, of course, Halo CE vehicle physics are still alive and kicking. Hang on. Let's kill this guy again. Let's see how difficult it is to kill, actually, because 
The first time I played this, it was really hard, but the Gatling gun seems to make uh, short work of him. Let's take a closer look at the Covenant Sniper. Almost looks like a, um, a mini hunter, doesn't he? And he bleeds orange as well. That's cool. This is the um, the original cut assault rifle. It's got a grenade launcher attachment. <clears throat> and then uh, penultimately, we have the old... I always mix this up. The Spectre or the Revenant. It's one or the other. But there's a passenger seat at the front, and then you can pilot it on the center there. Very, very, very uh, in keeping with designs in Halo CE. I quite like this. It's a shame it was never added. And of course, it has a gun. There's actually one more vehicle to take a look at, which is just over here. If I can actually pilot the thing. Let's take a ride over to it. It's the Pelican. Yes, you can drive the Pelican. I don't actually know if that was added to Halo CE or was supposed to be added, but um, even as late as Halo Infinite, the Pelican has been drivable. So this has sort of been on the cards for quite a while. Don't actually know how you get inside it. I do know it's pilotable, though. Probably from inside. So you can ride on the Pelican. I'm going to get out. And if you go inside, how do you fly the thing? I've seen videos of people flying it. I just don't know actually how to fly it. Oh, there we go. Pelican. And it's got a chain gun. No alternate fire modes. And this all takes place on the map um, that I was talking about, Crash Site, where the original Macworld demonstration took place. I'll be doing a separate playthrough video of that, so keep it locked on the channel for that. Now, as I was saying, there's more Halo CE cut content, and I'm sure the Dig Site team will be adding all of that to future versions of this mod, so keep it locked on the channel to take a look at that. And there's also Halo 2 cut content, Halo Reach cut content, Halo 4 cut content, and I think even Halo 3 cut content in the pipeline. So we'll be definitely taking a look at that if and when that gets added. But for today, that's going to be it. This is all of the Halo CE Macworld content that you can take a look at today via the mod linked in the description. Very, very cool stuff. But as I said, a decent amount of stuff is missing. So hopefully they take a look at that in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, fellas. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.